I'm not crazy. I just see things that aren't there. So hey guys, um, yep, yeah, doing another video, um, this is my, my fur tonight, <laughs> um, you'll probably notice if I've put the other ones up yet, I don't know, I might, what if I don't put them up in order and you're like, what on earth are you talking about, Honor, you haven't looked like this in any of the other videos, anyway, this is the third video I filmed tonight, <laughs> I'm on a roll, um, not literally, I'm actually on the couch. <laughs> oh my goodness, I need to delete my whole... Not just my channel. My whole self. <laughs> okay, let's just, let's just brush over that incredibly bad pun. But I loved it. <laughs> um, right. So... Um, today we're going to talk about, I should have done research in this video but it's really spontaneous and I just figured out before I turned the camera on what I was doing a video on. Um, uh, I have what's called hypnagogic hallucinations. I have not been diagnosed but it's also like a... I feel like it's a thing that if you experience them, you just you just experience them. I don't know why you exactly need a diagnosis, but I I don't know. But it happens, right? Yeah, this happens to me. It's like sleep paralysis, um, except you're not <laughs> paralyzed, um, so that's what it is. <laughs> um, onto the on the diagnosis thing, though, I will at some point go to the doctor about it. Um, but I have a lot of things to go to the doctor about. So not yet. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I just thought I'd make a video about it because not a lot of people know what that is. A lot of people only know about sleep paralysis. It's just so you know, sleep paralysis without the paralysis part happens. So basically, you know, you it can happen when you're you're like drifting off to sleep too, but for me it's like when I wake up. So like it's not all the time, it's actually um pretty rare most of the time. Um sometimes it happens um a lot close together, but like um I haven't had it happen for quite a while now. But yeah, it's basically you see um, hallucinations when you're um, still in the REM, you know, your brain's still in the REM sleep, but you're awake, so you're seeing things that aren't there. Um, but it's not like a mental illness, it's a sleep disorder. So it's not like hallucinations for a mental illness, it's... Um, completely from a sleep disorder so it's got nothing to do with like mental illness or anything um but yeah so like some experiences I've had with it um the first time I ever remember it it happened to me I honestly thought it was a ghost <laughs> but yeah what happened was um uh my partner Fabian had just been over however I had he had gone home, I'd said goodbye to him, he'd left, everything. Um, and I went to bed, and then when I woke up, there was somebody standing next to me, and I thought it was Fabian, so I said something to him thinking it was Fabian, and me saying that thing woke me up, like completely, and the person was no longer there. And I was like, oh my goodness, Fabian left, that wasn't Fabian, what? Um, and yeah, I honestly thought it was a ghost. <laughs> um, it was not. If you see a ghost, like, right after you wake up, like, it's not a ghost. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, so yeah. Um, 
my next experience, that was actually like quite a while before my, the next time I experienced it. The next time I experienced it was, um, um, it was weird. It was like a sheety kind of like ghost. Like a, like a ghost that was like a sheet but like not quite like that because that would be funny. It was like actually terrifying and it was like flying all over the place and it kept happening like like and this is never this normally doesn't happen. If I fall asleep after it's happened and I wake back up I normally don't have another um, hypnagogic hallucination. Um, but this time it just kept on happening, like I was so tired so even though it was really terrifying I'd fall back asleep and it would happen again and it was so terrifying. Um, and when I, when I was, when I, I like, like ended up trying so desperately to stay awake and thankfully I, I managed to but like that was really awful and like for a while after that I was like sleeping with the with the light on because I was so scared um if like my partner was with me obviously if he was with me I was fine to turn the light off but when I was sleeping on my own I would um have the light on because I was it was so terrifying um because it is even though you know it, it's obviously I know it's not real but it's still, also, sometimes when it's happening, you don't know it's not real. However, even when you do know it's not real, it's, it's still terrifying. Like, it looks real. Like, I'm not, like, like, it's a, it's a very realistic hallucination when it happens. And it's very terrifying. Um, a lot of the time it's also, like, for me, because... Um, I was just going to say what it was, but then I was like, I don't want to say what it was because I don't want to vocalise my fears online because people are awful. So I'm just going to say I have a, a phobia of something, um, or what I would call a phobia. And um, that thing I see a lot, um, like when I wake up, when I'm uh, having my house hypnagotic hallucinations. It's kind of hard to say sometimes. Um, and that's a lot of the time what it is. Um, uh, and one time it was truly terrifying and my partner did not help. <laughs> this is what you did not do, right? You gotta be careful with your words because, oh boy. <laughs> um, so what happened was I saw this figure right and it was in the hall and it was walking towards the hall and it was not just a normal figure that you'd think of it was like outlined with like like an outline of fire but it was still like the inside was like a like a black shadow um very creepy looked like a demon <laughs> and I was obviously freaking out. I was like, obviously like half awake, thought it was real. And obviously I was freaking out. My partner had woken up and he decided, this is what well, I'll tell you first, what um, he was trying to say. What he was trying to say was, it is in your head, it is not real, right? Instead, <laughs> what he did say was, it's just you. Now, half asleep terrified me, seeing this creature, thinking it's real, interpreted that as that creature over there is you. And I freaked out. I was like, no, it can't be me. I'm right here. <laughs> and he was like, that's fine. It's you. It's you. I was like, no, no, it can't be me. I'm right here. That's not me. <laughs> Did not help. And we only, like, we only, like, figured out this misunderstanding, like, 
you know, a few hours after this it all happened. Um, so yeah. <laughs> Oh, cause he was like, he was like telling me that, no, I didn't tell you that the monster was you. And then, but we, we discussed it. He was like, oh yeah, okay, yeah, I see what you got there. <laughs> no, I meant this. I was like, well, okay, well, you weren't helping. Go clear, clear a few words. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's like my experiences. Um, it's very scary. Don't know what causes it. I'm gonna Google that because I feel like this video needs to be more informative. Like, is it caused by anything? Um, hypnogotic hallucinations causes. Um, maybe caused by Parkinson's disease. Don't have that. Schizophrenia. No. Sleepwalking. Uh, uh, nightmares, yeah, sleep paralysis, no, um, I don't know what that last one is. Often there's no known cause. Okay. Um, yeah, I think for me it caught, it, it's just caused because I have a lot of sleep issues. Um, um. And I think it's also like a response to trauma kind of thing, even though it's not, there's no like, there's nothing in the hypnagogic hallucinations that directly lead me to think that, I just think it kind of is. Um, but yeah. Also, a quick note, I also want to say that it's not always terrifying, like a lot of the examples I gave were like at like scary but that's mainly because I remember them more but like it's not always like scary um like um sometimes it's just happens <laughs> and it's just kind of neutral um but yeah just gonna say that it's not always like nightmares coming to life kind of thing um but yeah uh, I do also want to say it is not, it's not like weird or like you're not crazy for having them if you do as well. It's like, it's honestly like the, the same level of sleep paralysis. It's just that people don't know about it so therefore when they hear about it they're like, what? That's not normal. But it's like, eh. well it's not really normal. It's kind of true but it's also like, it's not bad not normal <laughs> that's what I'm kind of saying um I mean obviously it's bad to experience and you should probably go to the doctors I'm also talking to myself there about that um but it's nothing to worry about as far as I'm aware like I've done some research on it um has I've had no no worry that it's anything to really worry about um but yeah, if it's but if you're having it on like like a very regular basis, like I'm not. I was at one point, but I'm not now. Um, then I definitely get that checked out because <laughs> that's not good, and it's probably speaking to something um, there. So yeah, so thank you for watching. Um, so bye.